Hey guys, today we're back to talk about the future of gaming. While the Xbox One and PS4 are getting all the press recently, what we're learning now is that the consoles are only one small piece of the puzzle when it comes to the immersive capabilities that technology will be bringing to the table in the near future. Back in 2012, a Kickstarter project hit the internet with the potential to change how we play video games forever. It's about immersing yourself in a computer-generated environment. How does the brain differentiate between reality and virtual reality. Take the Oculus Rift, say. This new piece of kit has pretty much resuscitated single-handedly this aspect of video games. I literally could not tell what was real anymore. Uh, uh, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the track? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> the future of gaming is happening now. Rift is an affordable, low latency, high field of view, virtual reality headset designed specifically for gaming. Um, I guess the way that I usually tell old people when they say, what is the Rift? Mm -hmm. Like my, my, my relatives, I say, well, you, you, you know how ski goggles work, right? You put them on and you see the world outside, right? And you, they're like, yes. And I say, okay, imagine if you had ski goggles that you could plug into a computer and then when you looked around, you saw the inside of a video game. And usually after a few rounds of going back and forth with this analogy, they, they kind of understand. Oculus Rift has integrated motion tracking sensors. There's a 3D accelerometer, there's a 3D gyro, and there's a 3D magnetometer. And Oculus takes these inputs and merges them together with what's called sensor fusion so that it can have very responsive, very accurate, and very fluid head tracking. And it's also a stereoscopic 3D display. You really start to understand the value and it's completely different from anything else. It's, it's the closest thing you can do to being there without actually being in the game itself, which is cool. After playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 with the Rift, I don't think I could ever play it again the normal way. Yeah, I think once the commercial version of the Rift uh, will came out, uh, everyone, every single gamer on the planet will be using it. And no one will go back to gaming on a monitor. At least uh, uh, that's what I'm thinking. I think education is going to be one of the biggest uses of virtual reality. There's also applications in architecture, uh, emergency responder training, all kinds of medical, medical imaging and training. But education is going to be one of the biggest ones because right now our education system is broken in that it's not teaching people the way that we're it's not teaching people the way that they most naturally learn. People don't most naturally learn by looking at things on a board or looking in a book. They learn by doing and by to a lesser degree seeing things. And that's why people still go on field trips. It's still a much better way to learn many things than just sitting in a classroom. Virtual reality allows you to have that experience or better but without the huge resource expenditure and the inefficiency. And think right now, if we think that it's valuable to send college students to let's say ancient Rome to look at ruins, if it's valuable for them to see the ruins today, what if with no expenditure and with no inefficiency, they could see the ruins as they exist today, as they'll exist in the future, and as they existed at the height of the Roman Empire? That's going to be incredibly powerful. I think that the Oculus Rift is going to help change the video game industry by taking off uh, with VR. and. I'm gonna say probably it's gonna begin with seated experiences, flight simulators, racing games, racing simulators. Um, those all lend themselves extremely well to the Oculus Rift. Uh, and it's realizing a dream many of us have had since we were young kids.
I think that virtual reality is going to open up gaming to even a more mainstream audience than games already are. What we have today virtual real in virtual reality is very primitive, but it's already capable of providing experiences that you can't get any other way. And technologies like that don't come along very often. Uh, maybe once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime, thrice in a lifetime, or never in a lifetime, depending on where in the timeline you live. Put me on a damn roller coaster. I happen to love roller coasters. Oh, no, 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 no. I really am scared of heights. This is higher than the cyclone. Oh, oh, ugh. No. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. But it's not real. I, yeah, my stomach doesn't know that. Now this feels like you're actually on a roller coaster. My goodness. I have a suspicion we're going to have a fast Descent. Okay, here we go. Uh-uh, I'm closing my eyes now. Nope, there's no way. Oh, let's not do this. Oh, sh**. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. It's making me nauseous. <laughs> <laughs>